Hi everyone, this is Natasha. I showed a haul um, recently of the Spellbinders Nestabilities, how the large and the small coordinate together. Yesterday I picked up uh, a small Classic Scallop Circle small, which coordinates with the Classic Scallop Circle large that I had, and I've taken them off the cards. So I'm going to show you quickly what I did. The first thing I did is, and you could see that they're actually two different colors, and it, initially I thought, oh, how brilliant of Spellbinders to do this, but I think it's it just, it's just a circumstance because I pulled out a couple of other large dies, and as you see, this one is darker and this one is lighter. So my theory that they were coordinating the dark ones to be, or the darker metal to be small and the lighter metal to be large went out the window. So, and because of that, what I did is first I took all of the dies off individually. I did uh, large first and then on each and every one I wrote down an L. Let's see if I could focus for you right there. An L and a 1. And I did that to every um, die in concentric circles or in concentrically from the outside in. So L1, L2, L3. So L is for large and then one, two, three, four, five, six is for the scale down sizes. I did the same thing with the small, except that I wrote S, S1, and I just used a uh, fine tip Sharpie. You just want to use an alcohol marker so you could see it. This way, and I did the same thing, S1 through 6. This way I know if I grab the same number from each of the sets, it's going to coordinate. And this is how it's going to coordinate. So this is, let me see which one this is, L3, and this is S3. So these two layer together, when you cut paper out and layer it together, they give you an eighth inch relief. Oh, that's perfect. So you could see because of the difference in color in the... Um, metal. So that's exactly what's going to happen. So if I grab, uh, this is cut with the L3, large 3, and this is the S3, and you layer them, you have an eighth inch relief. See the white layer versus the ruled layer? If you take L3 and L4, which is the next size uh, smaller in the large dies, this is how it layers, a quarter inch. So the white layer is L3, and the ruled layer is L4. So all of the sets, all of the sets within the same size, so all the large, will layer a quarter inch. Same thing with the small. Within themselves, they layer a quarter inch. But if you combine them, you get an eighth inch relief. So it all depends on what kind of borders you would like. The other thing I tried is embossing. So this craft paper I embossed one large, one small, and they should be an eighth inch. But as you can see when you emboss it you get almost a quadruple effect. So that's also interesting. And then this is just another example of the a large and a small that layers up into a eighth inch. What I think might be interesting, which I did not do an example of here, is to cut a large and then a small in the same size, but only emboss the small, or the whatever the top layer is. So this way you would get a three grade. There'd be the one die cut from the large set, one die cut from the small set, and then the embossing layer on that. Oh, actually, See if that would work. No, different size. So um, hopefully this helps you see exactly the differences between the um, individual quarter inch from within one die set versus the eighth inch when you marry the two together. So they're kind of like, like siblings. They start touching you in the back seat of the car and yell out to your parents saying, she's touching me. But there, there, this is the perfect example of what the two sets look like when cut together. That's precisely what you would get, is the eighth inch.
relief. So if you have any questions for me, please leave me a comment. Um, I'm still on the hunt for the deckled rectangle small. I went to AC Moore, Joann's, and Michael's yesterday because I had a 50% off coupon and that's why I went out to pick up the, hoping to pick up a coordinating one, a sister one, or sibling one, which I did find for the uh, scallop circles. And I know many of you have sent me links uh, where the deckled rectangle small is available online uh, and always being trying to be frugal I really want to get it for the best price and thank you for everyone who did send me the links to those if you have any other questions about kind of this marrying thing uh, please leave me a comment I'll be more than happy to share it with you hopefully this clears up a couple of the questions that I saw posted under my original link uh, as always thank you so much for watching